Uh, meron kasi kaming natanggap na reklamo about uh, dito nga sa operation dito. And uh, with that, uh, kinuna namin siya of course ng statement. Uh, Nag-apply kami for search one. Sir, ano po yung sumbo o yung information na po Ayun, uh, nung nakuha namin yung informasyon na yun, so nagkaroon kami ng validation and uh, chinek nga namin kasi may mga reported prostitution daw inside this photo uh, establishment. And then, uh, upon validation, na-check nga namin, uh, nalaman namin na meron nga mga prostitution. Ano ba po yung mga nakita namin? Well, uh, kagaya nitong nakita nyo, uh, ito may mga kwarto-kwarto ito, uh, parang kung tutusin parang uh, yung bar mga malalaking KTV sa labas. And then, uh, meron tayong nakita na aquarium kung saan nandoon nakalagay yung mga uh, mga babae. And uh, yun nga, from that aquarium na mga yung mga foreign nationals na nagtatabaw ito. And then, meron din sila mga cubicles na kwarto, may kama, may CR, uh, kompleto, and uh, so uh, doon na-establish namin na natutuwa talaga yung informasyon na Kailan po ang total workers na nakita po natin sa building po? Uh, sa ngayon, ang bilang namin siguro nasa 500 na higit na both yung foreign nationals and uh, yung mga Pilipinos na nagtatabaho hindi po. Um, ilan po ang Pogo firms kung uh, meron po tayong data, sir? Sa ngayon, kasi nakita natin ano, yung sa pagpasok natin, yung mga nakita tayong computers. And uh, yun isa subject pa rin yung search warrant. Siguro in the future, uh, we will apply for another search warrant para ma-examine natin yung laman ng mga computers na yun. And uh, of course, yung mga ibang violations na ginawa ng uh, establishment na Na-mention niyo po yung aquarium, sir. And what does this signify po itong raid na to? Well, ang nangyayari kasi dito, ano, uh, hindi na sila nag-aalisan dito. Parang they have their own kingdom here. Yeah. Na ultimo yung lahat ng kailangan nila. Uh, if they want entertainment, they have entertainment here. Meron nga silang sariling bar dito. Then if they want uh, to have yung uh, ganyan, yung uh, mga sexual practice. Uh, ayan, uh, may mga uh, inahayag sila dito. Mga, ngayon ang pa-practice ng prostitution. So, uh, nakakalungkot nga na uh, sa ganitong establishment na kala natin ay eh, magbibigyan ng trabaho. Uh, ito kasi parang pinapababa natin yung dignidad ng mga uh, ng mga babae na ito ang trabaho dito. But of course, yung mga Pilipina. Um, sir, ito pong uh, raid na to is this an uh, rescue operation? Uh, an arrest? Uh, sa, may may ma-arrest to po ba? Sa nakikita namin, ano, kasi uh, yung mga foreigners na nagtatabaw, we will be checking all their permits to work here sa Pilipinas. And also, uh, we will check also the legality of their stay here with uh, the Bureau of Immigration. And uh, of course, yung mga operators nito, uh, definitely we will be filing the case against those who are responsible for uh, the operation of this law. So itong building na to, mga ilang buwan or weeks na ito minanmanan. Kasi hindi ito yung unang beses na may mga nireskyo dito na... Yeah, uh, check din natin yan. Ano? Kasi yun nga, at least nagkaroon tayo ng pagkakataon na makapasok dito. Kasi there were instances na gusto pasokin na ito pero they were uh, prevented from entering this establishment. So, uh, with this, na with with the search warrant of course na inisyon ni Judge Marquis uh, Felix ay uh, nagkaroon kami ng pagkakataon na i-open at imbestigahan kung ano yung mga uh, krimen na nangyayari dito even yung uh, crimes that were committed in the past and uh, we also heard of that yung the reported kidnappings and uh, yung mga yung mga pinatutubos nila yung mga uh, illegal detentions tao na ayaw na magtrabaho dito at kinukulong nila uh, and then they were uh, forced to pay a certain amount para ang uh, gusto kasi nilang palabas is gumastos na kami sa'yo. So you have to pay us kung ano yung nagastos na kami sa'yo. Yung mga Pilipino, sir, uh, ano karaniwan yung trabaho na? Are they part of the, ano uh, din, yung mga babae? Nirorentahan uh, for, for sex, summer in the sex of the day? Yun nga. Um, yun kasi ang naging specific na trabaho ng mga Pilipino. Na, 
nakita natin dito and uh, you're a witness to that uh, na may mga ganyan ng trabaho and uh, again ang sinabi ko kanina na kakalungkot nga no? kasi kala natin trabaho na dito eh. and then uh, nahaluan pa ng panok Sir, so, ano pong nangyayari dito sa mga kinagatangkot uh, naman yun? Uh, mga yung mga Chinese, uh, ano mangyayari sa radyo, mga Pinoy, anong gagawin nyo sa'yo? May mga Pinoy tayo na nakuha no? and uh, of course If uh, the investigation na gagawin natin, eh, malalaman natin na they are just a uh, mere maintenance uh, personnel dito or they are just cook. Kaya uh, kasama lang sila sa paglilinis ng, ng building. Then uh, siguro uh, will be uh, uh, human enough na palalayahin natin sila. But of course, may mga Pilipinos din naman na involved dito sa mga uh, kalukuhan na nangyayari dito. Okay. Malaman namin na uh, involved sila sa mga gano'n, pagkasama sila sa kalukuhan nito. Yes, uh, we will be filing cases against them. So, aside from Filipinos and Chinese actors, ano po yung nationalities? Well, kanina nakakita naka na ako ng Mutias na Miss, and then may nakita na rin ako ng isang Indian. And uh, siguro ano, may mga ibang nationals pang lalabas. And uh, this will be uh, verified, of course, by the Bureau of sa mga orles, ilan lahat po yung natampot nyo ngayon dito? At uh, sa mga operator, ilan yung ma-arrest nyo dyan siya? Well, uh, siguro mas marami yung foreign nationals na ako nakita nyo naman. And uh, I hope na ang mga Pilipinos na nandito talaga is mga nag nagtatrabaho lang for maintenance, for cleanliness. And uh, sana hindi na sila involved sa... Ano sa mga prosecutor rescue yun? Hindi naman sila ikukulong sa lima? Yeah, oh, yung mga, yung mga uh, ganun nating kababayan na na-involved dyan sa prostitution siguro they will be part dun sa rescue na operation ng mga na. Ilan lahat sila siya? Sa tansya nyo lang? Sa ngayon, ang tinitignan natin mga siyam. Siyam yung sa operator? No, no. Yung mga sa prostitution ba? Sa siyam. Pero yung lahat-lahat kung nandito ngayon, na nadalpot nyo sa mga, sa tingin nyo siya, mga tansya nyo lang? Ayun, mga, siguro mga 500. Okay, thank you. Sir, may mga nakita ako, sir, ng mga Yeah, yung nasa clinic, the, titignan natin yan. But of course, kung medyo malala yung sakit nila, and then we will uh, send them to the hospital for that treatment. May mga butika, sir. May mga tindahan sila. So possible, sir, na may paglabag uh, sa business ng uh, kasay. Oo, oh, actually, titignan din namin yan yung, yung uh, uh, local permits nila. Kasi nga, ito, with, with this kind of, you know, yung entertainment, ano, siyempre, iba yung... Iba yung uh, Uh, permit dito eh. And then if they have uh, uh, stores, like yung me medicine store, ano, yung mga drug stores, so, ito yung mga permits. Consider ba na successful yung operation ngayon? Uh, of course, uh, we consider this as a success. And um, marami kaming uh, tuklasan eh. And uh, siguro in the future, siguro may mga uh, malalaman ito. Uh, Sir, may mga informasyon akong uh, na-receive na malakas daw to sa may may mga nasa likod daw sir ng mga officials government officials anong comment ko sir uh, part na rin ng nagiging investigasyon natin yan uh, kung ano yung naging, naging participation nila thank you sir thank you. well said sir very good Sir, for ID purposes, full name and designation po. Yeah, Nicholas Felix P. I'm Department of Justice Undersecretary in charge of the Under Agency Council Against Trafficking or the IAPAT. Okay po. Sir, ano po ito nga naging operation natin? Kita nyo naman, this is an implementation of a search warrant for the crime of human trafficking. In particular, the crime that was, the type of human trafficking that was found was sex trafficking, no? At base to dun sa, dun sa intelligence na binigay ng mga iba-ibang assets ng gobyerno na na, na, na nandito, nandito sa establishment na to. Kita nyo naman, no? dito sa first floor pala, may KTV at sa iba-ibang mga palapag ng building na to, may mga kwarto no? for extra service. Tapos, tinan nyo, may mga menu dyan, although in Chinese, kung simpleng Google Translate lang lalabas, no? may mga menu of different sexual services in for, for, in for, for certain amount of renminbi. Tapos, parang ano, parang nangyabi dito, mukhang itong building na to, eh, All around, no? All around building. Madaming mga ibang illegal activities na nangyayari. Dahil bukod dito sa KTV na to sa baba, bukod ang clientele ng mga services na to ay yung mga naninirahan dito mga pogo workers at yung mga bosses. Kasi nga, lumalabas itong building na to parang 
pan, pan, formerly licensed Pogo ba siya or licensed? Alam mo pa namin, no? Kung ano ba talaga yung status ng Pogo na to. Pero may, mukhang may, may Pogo dito at yung mga, ano, yung mga manggagawa, yung mga workers dito, most of whom are Chinese nationals, ay dito nakatira. At kung tingnan nyo yung building na to, yung mga silid nila, maliliit na silid, tatlong double deck, no? So lumalabas, six per room sila. So mukha talagang na-exploit sila, no? Sa mga conditions sila. Tapos, so among others, no? yun, ang mga, yun ang lumalabas sa mga, mga illegal activities na nangyayari dito sa gusali na to. So yung mga sex workers are Filipinos? Ang mukhang ano, mga foreign nationals. I think most of the individuals that we were able to find in this establishment are Chinese nationals. Uh, may mga iilang Pilipino, but kung mga Pilipina to, their work is more utility and support services. I actually interviewed um, two Filipinas and they said that their job is housekeeping here. And we all, I also chanced upon a Vietnamese national, a Vietnamese woman, no, who claims to, to give massages here. Sir, clarify ko lang, this was raided because of uh, yung illegal pogo activities. Tapos na discover lang din na merong mga parang sexual... And it, the initial lead for this particular place came from Padcor. Um, they gave us Padcor regularly gives us reports on those pogos, no? So, um, pogos that were or are under their jurisdiction that may have illegal activities. They gave us a report. Uh, I think the name of this pogo is um, Frigo, Frigo something, and it was its license was cancelled, but apparently it was still operating. So on the basis of that report of Padcor. Um, um, our, our interagency group conducted um, case buildup. We, we gathered intelligence at, and PAOC, no, Presidential Anti-Organized Crime Commission, was able to plant so many assets here. And these assets, yun, intelligence that they gave us, was actually ito, kung KTV na ito, no, the sex trafficking that's happening in this Pogo establishment. It's a report that they gave us ano, ng PADCOR. I think that was dated maybe around September. Uh, they said that the license of Frigo was already cancelled. So I don't know when it was licensed, but when we received the report in September, it it said that cancelled na. But lumalabas mukhang may license to ulit eh, under a different name. So we're, we're trying to find out no, kung ano ba talaga yung sitwasyon. Because we went around the establishment and we saw no, that it's under a new, it's, it has a different name now and it has licenses from different government agencies. So we're going to get to the bottom of that. Cancelled, sir, because of violations there. I don't know. I don't know kung ano yung dahilan but what, what we have is a report that said that the, the Apogo that, that supposedly operated here, um, its license was cancelled. So buildings are subject for closure? The closure and for feature. No? Under the human trafficking law, any assets or any properties that are um, proceeds or instruments of the crime of human trafficking can be forfeited in favor of the state for the benefit of trafficking victims as well as our fight against human trafficking. Sir, what are you doing with this building? Because it's not the first thing that we have to do. One of the things we have to do is among others. We have to do a lot of things. We have to do a lot of things. We have to do a lot of intelligence. And that's what we have to do. Because it's all around. It's not just a pogo that may supposedly online gambling activities na nangyayari may kinito pang mga nangyayari dito sa mga tao dito well definitely this is a this is a search implementation of search warrant so mag-identify kami kung sino yung mga perpetrators dito that can be subject of inquest so we have there's a period of time that we must observe I think around 36 hours to bring them to subject them to inquest so target namin maybe by Sunday may inquest at sila ng mga state prosecutors in the meantime, what, what we do is we identify who are the perpetrators, who are the victims, who are someone in between, no? mga workers <coughs> na wala, wala lang, na don't know any better. No? And once we identify them, we'll, we'll, find, we'll know what to do. No? Certainly the perpetrators, we will subject them to investigation. Hopefully, we will find evidence to pin them down. The victims, we will, we will, they, they, will be, they will be under state custody. They will be accorded yung mga, yung mga, um, yung mga rights no, that victims of human trafficking are accorded and eventually they, be, they will be subjected to repatriation. Yung mga other foreign nationals na, ano, na mukhang, ano, na mukhang, mukhang um, kulang yung ebidensya, but we will, ano, we will still subject them to um, immigration proceedings no, and definitely deportation. Trafficking, for sure, human trafficking, at the very least for this, ano, for this, ano, this, itong mga sex establishments ito. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, how much did they spend to put you here in this um, operations here in Pasay? 
给啊，他想问一下，那你他你一共他们用多少钱把你卖过来之类的 ？Six hundred thousand pesos. And what did they ask you to do here in this operation? He wants to ask, ah, they ask you to do what? Oh, I know. We work in the office. We have friends. Ah, 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 如果说你没有遵守那个规则的话，那你就会会发生什么事情吗？那对我来本来就，如果你不遵守老板的啊指示的话，会会有任何的问题吗？不会，我说，对我们老板，公司跟设施。他想知道在你啊、呃、多久前被卖过来这里工作？呃，三月份过来。啊、呃，三月。啊 ，March this year. March this year. Okay. 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 他是想问一下，啊，就是啊，中国人如果在这里，如果他们没有完成一些任务的话，啊，就是啊，身体上会不会被啊打伤这些？啊？不知道。别争论了。